guys. <laughs> Why am I laughing hysterically? A couple of reasons. A, I think it's been probably, was it early November? I think it was <laughs> that I put up my last video. I think it was. Cheers. Um, face, cup, what's bigger? Um, I'm laughing at a couple things because part of what I wanted to do in this first vlog back is say, you know, here's the, some of the, the great stuff I've figured out and uh, it's all about process and, you know, chunking things down, which is the truth. But <laughs> you might be looking and going, well, you haven't vlogged in a month and uh, you're still going like this, which means that you haven't bought the... Uh, What's the word? Uh, batteries for uh, batteries for the uh, whatever. What is it called? The remote control. There's a piece of hair too. That's you guys. I'm not lying. I just woke up like 20 minutes ago, so and it was weird. I, I uh, was running around yesterday because there's like this. Uh, well, yesterday there was an ice storm. Well, there was an ice storm. It's ice all over the place. And then today, there's supposed to be um, more, between today and tomorrow, there's like, you know, three to five inches of snow, which in Chicago, when they say three to five inches of snow, you're either gonna get a dusting or you're gonna get seven to 10. So I have a feeling, you can tell I slept in my hair funny. But I woke up and it was funny because I'd gone tanning yesterday, you know, back in Chicago, and uh, I noticed the other day that I was ridiculously white. I'm gonna need to turn the music down, aren't I? Um, and I went tanning, but I got up today. I don't know if it's showing up here. It was literally like, while I slept, the tan just went <laughs> And I, I woke up, and the first thing, I'm, one of the things I'm doing now when I get up is I start chugging water. And I was chugging my water, I'm like, oh, snap. Better put on my coconut oil. Um, and actually, yes, let me turn my Christmas music down for you because it's uh, rather loud. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. So, um, yeah, I woke up, I slept in today, and I needed to sleep in. Um, oh, you guys always have asked me to give you a quick pan of my... <sighs> I just hate that I have a bunch of little crap here on my counter. But you've wanted to see my, my uh, Christmas kitchen, so can you see... Let me turn this around, hold on, so I can see what I'm showing you. So up top of the, the um, cabinets in the little kitchen here, I've got, I don't know if you can tell, they're like, it's, see how I, I put big red, <laughs> that sounds wrong, I put big red so you could see them better. Last year I had red uh, Christmas ornaments up there, but you know, they, they didn't stand out as much. You know, when you're back here, and of course, if you were here, you'd see it much better. But I have my uh, garland up there with red lights and white lights. And uh, then I've got some of my little Santas. Santa by the coffee maker. Santa over here by our olive oil that Fit Fluential will be selling in January. Where's the other Santa? Here's my other Santa. By Nigella, who we love. Um, Christmas tree. A lot to take in. Christmas tree. Everything's red, as you see. I, ch I change all my pillows to red. Everything's a little squashed because of my Christmas tree. Um, red, red, red. Santa over by the door. Birds are outside like maniacs. You can't see them, but they're flying in. Then I have this little baby tree over here by my armoire. And, oh, and then here's my little kitchen, which I never sit in. I mean, really, I never sit there. And then I have this red tinsel up here, and I'm getting lights for it, but it's almost Christmas, and I haven't done it, so it's probably not going to happen. Let's be real. There's another little Santa. There's little Santas hidden everywhere. Um, and here on my desktop are crisp bars that just were delivered today. So there you go. And my coffee. And my Christmas cards. Now, hopefully... Ah, crap. <laughs> Hold on, sorry. <gasps> oh, I'm such a mess. There. Okay. So, um, there's the little mini Christmas tour. I had all these Christmas cards of kids. 
How cute is little Mike James? Um, Michelle and the kids. And what are the ones? That's from my mom. Anyway, um, so what time am I at? Five minutes and 15 seconds already. I have a massage at 12. I slept in um, because I needed to sleep in. And let me see. I want to give you guys a... Oh, the birds are going crazy out there today. They're probably panicking like I am. Highly doubtful. But, you know, my mom called and she goes, Kelly, you better make sure that you've got plenty of food in your house because it's going to, you know, it's going to be a bear of a storm. My mom always watches the weather when I travel wherever I am. And she knows exactly what the weather is going to be like when my plane is in Kansas City. She's like, well, when you come through Kansas City at 7.30, you know, 2 that night, <laughs> she knows what the weather is. But I will say this. She was, she's right most of the time. I just tend to not worry as much about the weather now, considering that it is literally the entire world out front of my door is a sheet of ice. It's a sheet of ice all over the sidewalks. It's a sheet of ice on the driveway. So, I mean, that might sound funny, but it's, it's literally scary to just walk out on my driveway and go get the mail because there are no shoes. Out. We were talking about this yesterday as I got my nails done. Um, I don't know if you can tell, it's Christmas sparkle. Um, oh, Mr. Squirrel! Glad to have you back, bro. What's up? I can see you looking at me. I see you. Don't stand really still and think I don't see you. Yes, I talk to animals. Although not the coyotes. That's a whole other story. So, what was I saying? Why am I having a knife out here? Because I opened up my quest bars, people. See, somebody... So, Sometimes I put the most innocent thing in a video and then I'll get a letter or somebody thinks I'm on cocaine because I went like this. <laughs> I could see, you know, going like this. Someone would be like, Kelly Alexa's a cutter. <sighs> anyway, so it's treacherous to even walk out to your mailbox. To answer your question and your concern, my friend the squirrel is still right there. I'm tempted to even show you guys what I'm talking about. He's just hanging out there on the... Cole. I bet she's watching me shoot my video going, how come I'm not in your video? What's up with that? Anyway, um, so I slept in today, and here's my thing. I am back. I will be doing videos. I'm actually very excited. I, I had a an unintended leave from really kind of blogging and vlogging, um, and it mostly had to do with kind of just a lot of uh, stuff colliding work-related um, and, and stress and oh, I need to put my moisturizer on. I can feel it in the morning and I also need to get a humidifier for my place because it's it's very dry. I can just feel my skin dry going, give me some more moisturizer! Um, anyway, so um, you know how I've talked to you guys before in the past about how you can hear something a million times and you don't apply it, and then sometimes you can hear it from somebody else in a certain context and all of a sudden it makes sense to you. Like, I wish my bangs made sense to me right now. Why? Somebody calling me. Let's see who's calling us. I guarantee you it's my mother. Hold on. Oh no, it's not. It's somebody that's annoying me, so we're just going to ignore them. Um, hold on. Um, I needed to talk to my mom, so. So anyway, here's the deal. We're at nine minutes, and I need to go work out because I have a massage today. A very much needed massage. My body is aching. But the past two months, you know, when I left, I was shooting my last videos that are public. I've shot a couple since then, but then they were really point, they, they really had no point. Because I was trying to, like, catch up with you guys and tell you everything that I had, you know, come to a awareness of and whatever and, and I was just rambling plus I didn't like how pale I looked not gonna lie you know I'm shallow like that so I didn't put them up but the last time I put videos up was before we headed down to Orlando for that Disney weekend and um, you know basically since heading down to Disney my intention was if I don't know if I said that in my last couple of videos but I said I'm heading down to Orlando we're gonna be down there for the Disney wine and dine with a bunch of my fifth flatful girls and um, then Kelly from Miami was going to drive up 
meet me in Orlando, and then we were driving back to Miami where I was going to stay with her probably for the holiday season because, as I've mentioned before, I am moving to Miami end of next year. So that all started well and good. The Disney weekend was a little, I'm sorry, these bangs are just not, this is sleep hair and it's really bothering me because it's making me crazy. Anyway, um, um, so we got to uh, Disney, we drove down to Miami, <clears throat> and within about 24 to 48 hours of being in Miami, the whole world was just like completely different than my plans, her plans, anybody's plans, because um, Kelly's, this is the wrong picture, so Kelly's uh, son-in-law, is that right, son-in-law, so her daughter is engaged to Mike James, and this is their little boo-boo baby. Um, and that Monday, Tampa Bay Buccaneers were playing Miami, and uh, Mike got injured in the game. So we're sitting there watching him on TV, uh, Monday Night Football, and he gets injured in the game. So all of a sudden, you know, we were like, holy cow, this whole um, posse was coming down to Miami, and it was just like, it was crazy because we were like, you know, Mike's got to see a doctor, we have a baby, we have all these people here, da 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 da. So it was just, Instead of it just being me and Kelly alone in her house, which is kind of like, you know, the size, probably bigger, obviously, than my condo, but just me and her, to me and her and Mike and Aubrey and their baby and then friends and family coming in and out. And it was just very crazy. And it was awesome to get to spend time with them, but it also got very frenetic for all of us. And then for me in particular, we ended up having a, uh, a business thing. <laughs> the squirrel must have gone up to the people above me, must have gone up to that condo on their patio, and now they're like, well, there's not enough bird food up here, so I'm coming back down. I spend too much time talking to animals. Anyway, um, so in the midst of all that, then we get this um, kind of somewhat urgent uh, business meeting that I realized I really needed to come back to Chicago for, and then at that point, you know, considering everything that was going on, I decided that I'm going to come back for the holidays and then I told Kelly, I'm like, here's what I know I need to do. When I come down here until I'm living down here, I, I need to be on vacation. I was kind of fooling myself to think that I could go down to Florida and, you know, work in Kelly's house. We were able to work together, but the problem is, is my business isn't slowing down, it's picking up. And so it was very difficult for me to feel like I'm there. And you know, it had been so long since I'd been to the beach. It had been so long since I'd gone to all the my favorite yoga places there. So <clears throat> I was wanting to do things that you do if you were visiting, but then I was saying no to myself because we had all this business stuff. And then I was feeling more and more behind. So like the whole point of me going down there to relax and get refreshed wasn't happening. I didn't even go to the beach but one time and I wasn't in my, are they calling you again? No, it's not. See, now I'm hearing the phone ring and it's not even ringing. Um, I think I went to the beach once and it was actually a chillier day just because I'm like, I, I'm stressed and I just need to see the beach, you know, because when I sit on the beach and you just see the waves and, and everything. There's that squirrel again. Hey, bud. Yes, I just waved to the squirrel. Someone's institute me right now. Institutionalize me? What's the word? So anyway, all that said, um, I came back uh, was it right before Thanksgiving, I think? Uh, yeah, and then I ended up, you know, deciding, rather than go back and forth, back and forth, I just said to Kelly, here's what I'm doing. When I come down here, I'm going to come down here for two weeks at a time. Um, we'll look for houses, and I will be on vacation. I'm not going to come down here and kid myself and think that I can be working. You know, because every time she would ask me to go to yoga, I'm like, no, I can't. I, I didn't finish this. I've got to be in a Twitter chat. I've got to do this. It was just crazy. So that was lesson number one. Lesson number two, and I'll go into a lot of these other things because I am really, really excited. I feel like I've been completely given this massive life boost of adrenaline and focus, and I'm adjusting kind of everything, which means that I can say to you, yeah, I think I'm, I am, and instead of just, you know, shutting my blog down and, and you know, not committing to doing this, I do want to do it because I have a lot to, clearly I have a lot to say. I've just rambled on for 15 minutes about absolutely other than coffee and my tan and Quest bars and my Christmas decor. The size of my coffee cup, things of world importance. So anyway, 
Um, I, I really did. It was, it was the boost of focus, the boost of energy. It was a little frustrating to come back to Chicago, but then on the other hand, I keep looking for my remote. Um, one of the things I'm doing too is the reason I'm not using my Samsung right now is I did start because I told myself, this is so silly. I'm using my old Sony camcorder and I've got this beautiful Samsung Galaxy thing. I was trying to do some poses in my room the other day, take some shots for this yoga tag thing we were doing on Instagram. I was really having problems with the camera responding to me. So I need to, I really need to, that's why I took the camera out. I'm gonna sit in the middle of the storm this weekend and it's something that I tend to not do. I don't sit and figure out how to do something. And then I just put it to the side and never use it. Well, I'm not doing that because I love that camera that it's voice activated, that I can do video, that I can do everything I want. And then instead of having to take this, which, you know, again, I bought this five, six years ago, instead of taking this, attaching it to my PC with my cord and manually uploading it, I can just upload it automatically to YouTube. Um, I was watching some of my favorite makeup girls, their videos on YouTube yesterday, and I think Candy had one up about all of the equipment she uses and the editing software, and I'm like, I'm so lame. This is all I do. I put this up, there's no words on my videos. I've never said anything like, subscribe to my channel, which I probably should do, or whatever. I don't have any special effects. It's no Photoshopping. It's just me after I just wake up, for better or for worse. So that said, it's 16 minutes. I'm going to cut it clean at this spot. Not really. But I'm back. I learned a lot. It was, it was stressful. It was frustrating, but it was good. And um, everything's going to be great and changing because... The simple thing about the Florida situation is I came back and now I have a, now I have something to work towards specifically and it's really freaking exciting because I know I'm living there. I know where I'm living. I've started looking for houses every night um, and this, this mental visual thing and again this is what I started saying 16 minutes ago. Sometimes you just need to hear something differently or you need to apply something that you know You've known something is, is a practice you should be doing, and yet you haven't done it. Well, for me, having this visual of, of kind of feeding myself every morning and going, I'm moving to Miami, and, and knowing what the houses look like and the neighborhood looks like, I, I have something I'm working towards. I'm not just getting up every day and going, oh, I have so much work to do. And, and you don't really feel like you're going anywhere, because even when, okay, I'm pushing 18 minutes. Even when I said before, Oh yeah, I'm moving to Florida. There really wasn't any action step that I had taken to really get it in my mind and my body. So I was like, yeah, I'm moving to Florida. But realistically, people, if you say something like that, and I probably started saying that in like, you know, October, eight months or nine months or a year can go by so fast. Okay, think back to January. It's December now. This year has flown by. And now especially that I'm saying, you know, hey, my lease is up here at this condo. I'm just renting, thank God. Um, so I'm renting until end of August of next year. If I don't put a plan together and put action steps together and know what I need to, to know as far as the real estate market, moving costs, what I'm going to need to put down on my house or buy my house in cash, which is the goal, then it'll get to be like June and I'll be like, yeah, I'm moving to Miami. Well, have you looked at houses? Oh, yeah. Oh, houses cost this much. Oh, yeah, I don't have that much in savings. Oh, bummer. You know, you have to you have to sit, decide where you are right now, decide where you want to be, and then you've got to work your way back. And that's the simplest concept, you guys. That's not like it hasn't been out there. It's not some secret thing that you have to pay an infomercial to learn. Sometimes you just have to figure out that that's what's missing in your life, doing that, and when you do, wow. Let me tell you, it's changing everything for me, except for the length of my vlog. So I'm gonna shut up now, I'm gonna go have the rest of my coffee, I'm gonna go do my workout, and then I'm gonna go get a massage, and I'm gonna be in a very happy place, okay? Except for the fact that Hugh Jackman is in here. I watched Wolverine last night, 